What's up, what's up, what's up, guys? I am Rachel Photon. Welcome, welcome back. I'm so happy to be here with you all today. In this oracle reading, you all, we're going to see what the universe wants you to know. With that being said, lay do it. Let's see. What does the universe want you to know? Wow. Y'all, I can already tell by the way these cards are shuffling that this reading is going to be very interesting. <laughs> wow. Let's see. Let's see. What does the universe want you to know? All right, y'all. So you may have been uh, recharging your energy recently with very valuable alone time, staying to yourself, maybe um, doing things on your own more, allowing yourself to just be free and not have too many worries, too many distractions, okay? Um, some of you all, you may be being told by the divine that you may need to take some time to yourself to allow yourself to recharge and to um, allow yourself to really get back in tune and in harmony with who you truly are, uh, your true mission, your true purposes, things of that sort. And you may need to do this alone, okay? Now be safe, all right? If you do have some alone time. Y'all, aww. Y'all, okay, so there's somebody in your situation or some people they are wishing the best for you behind the scenes, okay? They really, really value you. Um, they see what you've gone through. They see how hard you've worked. And they really wish the best for you, truly, all right? Some of you all could be nervous about taking time to yourself or doing your own thing or stepping away from a scene for a little while or something like that. And you could be nervous that others may not be happy if you took some time to yourself or if you did your own thing for a little while or something of that sort. But you're being told that uh, these people will support you, the ones that you care for and that you love, and they wish the best for you. Okay, some of you all could be dealing with individuals who um, you may not realize this, but they actually wish the best for you. Okay, they hope that things are prosperous and well for you and that things work out there it is i knew it was gonna be so i knew it was gonna be something y'all i knew it was gonna be something okay <laughs> all right so someone is supporting you in some type of effort that you may have in defending yourself okay or in standing up for yourself you may feel like certain individuals may not support you or they may not like for you to um, stand up for yourself, to do your own thing, to go down your own path and go down um, uh, and do your things your way. Um, but someone does support you, okay? They do, they, they are going to be there for you. They are going to look out for you. Um, and for some of you all, you may need to take a step back or... Stay to yourself for a little while or do things your own way or in your own time or something like that to be able to know exactly what you need to do to overcome some type of possible spiritual things that have been against you. Others of you, you have defeated an enemy of some sort. You have defeated an opponent of some sort. And you have people who have been supporting you who have been rooting for you, like who have been hoping that you win, hoping that you are able to overcome something or accomplish something. For some of you all, what this has to do with is what this enemy or this opponent is, is lack of motivation, lack of passion, lack of inspiration. You may have had to take time to yourself to find your passion for something again or to get more inspired more motivated possibly because of something that you've been dealing with maybe individuals that make you not want to be involved in a situation or that may make you not want to do something or that may make you might, might try to make your situation more difficult um that could have been affecting how you felt about something and whatever that was it is it is being rid of 
okay? You're no longer feeling um, lacking of motivation, lacking of inspiration. You're very inspired. You're feeling more empowered than ever. And you're going after the things that make you really feel something, that make you feel like this is what you're meant to be doing. This is what you're meant to be here for type of thing, okay? There's something, though, very significant about defeating an enemy or an opponent, okay? And there's a lot of people that have been wishing the best for you behind the scenes, but they may not outwardly support you or they may not outwardly make it obvious that they're on your side or they support you or they value what it is that you're doing. Um, they want you to know that even when you take time to yourself, even when you're away, that um, they still support you. They still um, are going to be there for you. They're still looking out for you. Okay, y'all. You may make someone feel passion. You make them feel something. You're one of the only people that can really make them feel something. Feel something good. You may help them to stay strong, empowered, inspired, or motivated of some sort. Okay, but there is definitely some sort of enemy or opponent that was defeated. You're protected against evil spells. This is wild, y'all. These readings be wild. I, uh, wow. <laughs> wow. So there was some sort of enemy or opponent of some sort. That could have been trying to work some sort of evil spells against you. Okay. Just going to show you here. All right. You're protected against evil spells. All right. And you defeated an enemy or an opponent of some sort. Okay. People are wishing the best for you in this. They may have known that somebody was trying to practice some sort of spell work against you. And they could have been helping you out as well, praying for you, looking out for you, keeping you um, passionate, inspired, motivated. They may have seen what this individual was doing. That could be one of the reasons why they support you when you take time to yourself, when you um, allow yourself to be alone, when you stay on your own path, your own journey, doing things your own way. And you may think that people don't support that or that they won't value that, but you're going to realize if you haven't already that they do, okay? You may even be more successful at what it is you're trying to accomplish when you do things your own way or allow yourself that time to recharge your energy and to recenter yourself and to refocus and get dedicated and to find that passion again for whatever this is. OK, you may be helping other people overcome things that are against them, things that are keeping them down, things that are holding them back. You are protected against evil spells. Some of y'all may not have even known that somebody was trying to work some kind of evil spells on you. And the thing is, this don't have to just be like magic. OK, sorcery is Sometimes it's just the stuff people say about you. Okay? Because some of y'all, that's what I'm sensing is you could have been, some of y'all could have been around individuals who their energy just, it just wasn't right. Especially you have um, the card here. Yeah. You were around individuals who may ruin other people's fun because they're always pessimistic. They're always complaining. Um, they just, they just hate life for some of them. Okay. Or they always like look at the negatives of life or, or of situations. You may try to keep them positive, inspired, motivated, and they just want to focus on the negative. They, they want to look at how bad something is instead of how good it can, can be or how much worse it could have been. Right. And so because of that energy, it's almost like this person, they speak bad onto themselves and onto others and they may not even be aware that they're doing that and they may not even be aware that their words are that powerful okay so some of y'all it's it's just somebody was saying e saying bad things about you evil things about you or about others around you 
but you're being protected against whatever that is. Some of you all, that's what you realize you needed to stay away from someone or get away from someone because the stuff that they say or the stuff that they're practicing or something that they're doing is evil. And they could have been doing that to you or just other people, but you are around that or involved with that. And there's a difference between, just so you all know, there's a difference between recognizing issues, problems, negative things that are happening in order to try to find solutions to those problems. It's another thing, or to make others aware of them so that they can find solutions or protect themselves. But it's another thing to just be extremely pessimistic and complaining all the time. Not trying to find a solution, not trying to make the situation better, not trying to find the, 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 the good within the situation, but just negative and complaining all the time. You could have been dealing with somebody that that's all they like to do all day long. They just sit and complain. They're, they're all, it's always something with them. Dang, man. But for others of you that this 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 enemy or this opponent of some sort what they were trying to that what they were hoping for with whatever these evil spells were was to essentially make you have a negative outlook or perspective on your life or on life or on someone else okay but you were able to um get away from that situation or protect yourself somehow from what i see here y'all It's almost like someone may see themselves as less powerful, less worthy, less valuable, but you don't see yourself that way. You see yourself as more powerful, as more capable. You see others as having abilities that they can do better, be better, um, that things can change, things can get better. And this person is not able to see from those perspectives, okay? Their perceptions are off, all right? Or they're, diff they're just not beneficial for them. They may be aware of less, less of their true power, their true abilities than you are of yours. And so it looks like you, you may have showed someone like you have a limit. Okay? You're not going to allow somebody's negativity messed up vibes etc to ruin you or to stop you or to block you or to mess you up some of you all you may have been wondering like why certain things were happening in your situation etc etc it, it's possibly due to somebody trying to work some sort of evil spells against you but you're being protected against them they felt like you ignored or hurt their feelings of some sort or you were judging them harshly so that's why they started to see you as their enemy or as against you. But you're keeping yourself composed from what I see here. Some of y'all, you're doing very well when dealing with somebody that's not for you. Okay? They may have hurt your feelings. They may have prejudged you. They may have ignored you on purpose trying to make you feel some type of way and you realize that somebody was not who they say that they are they weren't being their true self some of you all you you were in a situation where you felt like you couldn't be your true self you couldn't be who you wanted to be you couldn't think the way that you wanted to think you couldn't see things the way that you wanted to see things and you got up out of that situation you left that alone you moved on from it and it's like for some of you all, you could have been trying so hard not to disrespect somebody else or hurt somebody else. So in a way, you could have felt like you weren't being your true self because you weren't being honest. You weren't speaking the truth, you know, and I'm not saying you were lying per se, but you could have been just not saying things that you wanted to say to try to save somebody's feelings or to make them feel good or feel better about something. But you realize that you should have never done that.
All right, so your person or whoever this is could be dealing with what's called rejection trauma, okay? Um, you may be, you may have used to be a people pleaser. You may have used to put your wants to the side, um, your comfort, your security, et cetera, et cetera, to the side for others to help others feel good about themselves or to help others get ahead in life or to, you know, things of that sort. And maybe you weren't getting enough back in return and that is what was causing you to feel less passionate about something or someone some of you all you just don't you know this person they make negative assumptions about what other people are thinking about them without even knowing the truth they could have made negative assumptions about you and how you think or feel about them without even knowing the whole truth they just assumed some of them is because they're insecure. So they just assume the negative. They assume the worst. They may have thought that you were their enemy. They may have thought that you were against them. And you weren't. And so by default, it was like a self-fulfilling prophecy. They did things that made you basically see them as an enemy or an opponent of some sort. So for some of you all, you could be real, you could have been real nervous about allowing this person to have more of a closer relationship or um, something with you. And they could have felt, they could have felt some type of way about it. Like as if you were doing them wrong or you, you were wrong because you are real particular about who you get involved with and who you trust and who you express certain things to and tell certain things to and for some of y'all dealing with that individual it may have felt like they were draining you like your energy they're just they're just this is too much <laughs> it's too much so that's why you left that situation or moved on from that but you were nervous because you didn't want that person to hate you or to see you as their enemy or to you know, try to act funny with you or whatever because you already know that they ain't wrapped too tight. There's something off about them. Wow. Some of y'all, this person, they, they took it some type of way. You deciding to stay to yourself. You deciding to focus more on yourself. You deciding to go on your path, your own journey, do your own thing. And they went and worked some sort of evil spells against you. That's crazy, y'all. Because they were experiencing some sort of, they felt like you rejected them. They didn't see how what they did wrong in the situation. They just felt like you were wrong. But you were going above and beyond for this person or this, this individual or that situation. Because you were dealing with, at the time, kind of like people-pleasing type of energies. Almost like, it's not really a negative thing unless it just becomes you know too much but basically you like to go above and beyond for people who you care about or who you love or who you see as supporters um or people who you see um are on your side or for you but some of these people don't really care as much about you as you care about them so you may in the past may have gotten caught up in trying to Make this person feel good. Show this person that you care for them, that you love them, that you value them, or that you see them as a worthy partner, or you're thankful for whatever it is that they're doing for you, etc. And some of y'all, they got used to that. And when you just couldn't do it anymore, because you shouldn't have been doing that to begin with, you were going above and beyond, they got used to it and felt some type of way when you started to move away from them or walk away from them. Okay? So you have other people here who support you, who see what has happened in this situation, who wish the best for you behind the scenes, but somebody else you left or moved away from or moved on from or something because they're, they're, they're not right for you. They may suck the passion from you. They may drain you energetically speaking or just the, the, the way that they are, the way that they view life, their perspectives on life is just ugh. So since you move from around that individual or that situation, your magical gifts and abilities, your powers have increased tremendously. 
you may be starting to see more of the truth about something that was going on when you were around that individual you may actually start to see that that person wasn't as righteous as you thought that they were it's almost like they they're really good at working illusions or spells on people making people see them as valuable and worthy when they're not or making people feel like they got to go above and beyond to please them when they don't even deserve that okay but it looks like since you got up out of that situation things are definitely uh working better for you you're able to recharge your energy and focus more on yourself your passion has returned for your life purpose for your divine missions for yourself and wanting to do better and be better for others of you it will return okay and yes they're gonna try to make you feel like you're the one that's wrong in this situation for doing what's right for yourself and what's best for yourself but those who really care for you and value you and love you they're not gonna they're not gonna make you dang near take yourself off this planet trying to people please them or put yourself in horrible negative situations trying to people please them okay you made the right choice or the right decision yeah there, there's a breakup in this situation okay some of y'all this is a personal relationship of some sort others of you this is family situation this could be work situation work partners work group business um friendship okay you you've moved on from that now you're more productive than you were around that individual you decided to trust yourself you decided to trust the divine wisdom and knowledge that you were gaining okay that person um there was some sort of broken promises in the situation they didn't hold up to their end of the the deal and so you moved on you want to try something new So you might be a little bit nervous about what this person may do or whether or not you're making the right choice or the right decision. You're being told to trust, trust in yourself, trust in your gifts, your abilities, trust in your ability to spiritually protect yourself. Okay. Mm. Wow. Yeah. You are feeling really intensely about this situation. But you're protected, so don't worry about it, all right? You're being divinely protected. The divine knows that this person don't... Some of y'all, the, the divine knows that this person doesn't realize the power of their words. For others of you, yeah, absolutely correct. Wow. Recognize the divine plan God has for you. Wow. They may feel like you sacrificed them. You didn't sacrifice them. You chose yourself. That's what it was. And they may be used to other people putting them first or going above and beyond for them or, you know, ignoring their true feelings, the way their the, the the allowing themselves to be run amok on, essentially. They're used to that. Well, they're gonna have to used to get they're gonna have to get used to people choosing themselves over being people pleasing you know simps essentially to people who would have never been the same way to them so you have defeated this individual or this situation whatever this is okay you see the divine plan that god has for you you want more in life and you're going to do what you need to do to make it happen. You're correct. You absolutely made the correct choice, y'all. Okay? You have better influences around you. Or you will find better influential people to involve yourself with, to deal with. Okay? The universe has a lot to do with how you're feeling at this time. 
this time is a beautiful time because it's giving you the energy that you need the motivation that you need the passion that you need to move on to move forward to choose yourself to stand on what you said you would stand on to do what you said you would do this time is a powerful time to make very um important decisions in your life for the better to move forward with things that you may have been nervous about or that you may have been um lacking the motivation to do Okay, you may need to not let somebody not, you may need to kind of keep what your plans are to yourself or what's going on or the moves that you're making. Okay, because this individual, they're feeling some type of way about this situation. They may want to try to F it up for you, but they're not going to, they're not going to be successful at it. But still, you don't want to bring more issues to the situation than needed. Okay. Yeah, distance yourself. Wow. Mm-hmm. So if somebody told you to distance yourself from that individual, you're receiving proper guidance from what I see here because that person's not good for you. If you realize your life was just really going to not good places when you were involved with them or around them, or you noticed that your energy wasn't the way that you needed it to be, or you noticed that you weren't able to connect with the divine in the ways that you needed to, etc etc that was the right choice to move from about that situation y'all wow so your wish is about to be fulfilled okay something about your wishes are about to be fulfilled so you need to stay positive, okay, especially with your thinking. Don't allow negative thoughts to creep into your mind, all right? And like I said, it, it, there's a difference between recognizing something for what it is and trying to find solutions to issues versus just complaining just to complain, okay? Because you don't want to give the universe the idea that you're put because you're putting so much energy and focus on what you don't like that you want more of what you don't like or what you don't want okay you need to spend as much as your energy and time into imagining the life that you want doing the things that will help you get there and thinking about how happy you'll be once you achieve your goals if you want to talk about anything talk about how happy you're going to be when you accomplish your goals how awesome life is going to be when you when you uh, achieve this success that you're going after. Okay? You were hoping for the best by walking away from this individual. And it looks like uh, your wishes are about to be fulfilled. All right, y'all? And there are many people who support you, who love you, who are uh, who are clapping for you behind the scenes and celebrating you. And they really genuinely, truly care for you. They really genuinely, truly want to see the best in, uh, the best for you. Okay? Just remember your beliefs are extremely powerful. And they can affect the way that you behave. Alright? That person's beliefs, that person that was real negative, it's obvious. The more that you stay away from them and you, re, you look back on the situation, the more you will see how that person's beliefs has directly affected the way that their life is the way that they interact with people okay and do you you got to think do you want that for yourself i don't think so so keep moving forward y'all all right freedom baby you're moving towards freedom you're feeling more free or you're going to be feeling more free your energy is going to be feeling the way that it's supposed to feel